Are you spending too much money and struggling with a budget? If so, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Money Show. I'm Bailey and I'm here to help you get your money right. Does it ever seem like every time you get your paycheck it's basically gone going towards bills or who knows what? That happens a lot. Everybody has issues with kind of budgeting their money and a lot of people don't have a certain way to budget. So today we're going to go into detail about it. But I personally, I've pretty well with my budget and I do like this strategy, it helps a lot, so we're gonna get into that. So experts recommend that you use the 50-30-20 strategy, which the 50-30-20 strategy, 50% 30, 50 goes on your needs, 30% goes on your wants, 20% goes on debt, and your savings. When applying the budget strategy to one's own life, it's important to be able to separate one's income into three separate categories. When looking at your needs, these are the things that you cannot live without. These are your everyday necessities, such as your shelter, which would include your home and your mortgage, your utility bills, your grocery bill, or lastly, transportation. When looking at your wants, these are the expenses that you enjoy but don't necessarily need every month to survive. A few examples of these are going out to eat, entertainment, or hobbies that you enjoy spending your time doing. The one that most people struggle with is debt and savings. This can include student loan payments or other debts you have accrued over time. It also includes your emergency budget and your retirement plan. When looking at these three categories using this strategy, it's important to note that this is all based off of your net and not your gross income. People struggle in between wanting something and needing it. A lot of people think just because it's on sale, they need it. Just because it seems awesome, they need it just because they really absolutely want it. But in all reality, there's a lot of things that we do, like going out to eat isn't a need. You can cook at home and save money. Also, your bills, your bills are a need. That is a very different one. Like you have to pay your rent, otherwise you get evicted and you have nowhere to live. Another one is like a $150 pair of shoes when you can in all reality get just like a 50 pair that are probably about the same. So you really have to kind of get in your own head and be like, do I just want this or do I need it? To better visualize what we mean, we're gonna give you a visual on the screen for you guys to look at and see the difference between wants, needs, and debts. Looking at this chart, you can see the breakdown of one's annual income based on the 50-30-20 budget strategy. By looking at the breakdown of this chart and applying it to your own life based on your income, you can see the total amount of money at play broken down on an annual basis. What's more effective is breaking this down into your monthly income. By doing this, you can see the total amount of money at play and compare it to your monthly expenses. By following this budget strategy accordingly and saving a minimum of 20% of your income, you will be able to find financial stability in your life. So after looking at this chart, I want you guys to know, don't outlive your means. Don't spend the extra money just to impress other people. It's what makes you happy, not other people. If you are just spending, you're gonna get yourself either in more debt or you're gonna be broke and closer to not being able to pay your bills, which is really scary. You don't wanna blow the bank out just because to impress other people, like what's the point? They aren't paying your bills, they aren't living your life. You should never do that. So in America, we love to overspend. Just in credit card debt, mortgage debt, and school loans, we have over $1 trillion in debt, which that is a huge number. Like we need to be more careful with that. That's why I'm making this video talking about the 50, 30, 20 strategy, because if people use this, our country wouldn't be in that situation. So the point we're making is in the long run, you'll be a lot happier if you follow the budgeting strategy. You don't wanna impress the other people. That's not what your bank's made for. So just do you and do what fits your needs and your wants. So thank you for watching another episode of The Money Show. I'm Bailey, and I want to know, do you guys have any budgeting strategies you like better or any ideas? Please comment below and let us know. I hope to see you again, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep seeing me. Have a great night, guys. <laughs> I feel like that one was pretty damn good. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, 
and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.